Jason, hey, congratulations for season two of Swagger on Apple TV+. Plus. Thank you. Thank you so much. So how does it feel being back on the series for yourself? Um, it feels it feels amazing. Um, you know, season two, uh, we're back and, and we're better. We're on a new level this year. And, um, you know, it just feels amazing to be back. Now, of course, uh, you had quite ex an experience on season one, um, you know, during during that entire production. How, how does it feel to be back on season two, which is a, you know, the pandemic is actually over and we're we're getting into the swing of things. Um, it feels great. I feel like the overall production, um, like I said before, was it's just on a new level. I think everything that, you know, Apple has done and and um, you know, our producers has done, I think we're just we're just ready to, you know, shock the world and uh just be better than ever. So what do you think is the secret of success to this series? Why people love it so much? I think a lot of people relate to um each each character um whether it's whether it's Phil whether it's you know whether it's Nick Mendez whether it's Jace Carson I think the the relate they they relate to to just being a being a kid and and um you know some of the obstacles the the struggles the pressure of you know playing basketball as a as a as a youth and um yeah just just they just relate. Now, of course, for yourself personally, you really have a special relationship uh, to uh, to this storyline. Could you tell tell us about um, about that? You know that life and how this is. I want to say is so meta for you. Uh, I think I relate to to my character Nick Mendez um, a lot. You know, um, all the obstacles um, of you know playing youth. Um, playing youth basketball, playing AU, traveling all over the world. Um, you know, I think my my I relate to to Nick Mendez, you know, greatly. And um just just all of his experiences um throughout, you know, the season, season one and season two, I think it's it's a uh, it's been an amazing journey and and um you know, I'm I'm Puerto Rican myself, so, uh, you know, I, a lot of my family we have pride, we 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 have Boricua pride, and I think we uh, it's, you know, I, I relate to him a lot. Tell us about your Puerto Rican background, because Nick Mendez is very very proud of his Puerto yeah. Rican heritage. So so you must be too to play a character in the series. Definitely, definitely. Um. I am, I'm Puerto, obviously I'm Puerto Rican and I have family over there on an the island and, and um, I'm super proud to be playing a Puerto Rican and, uh, you know, I have a lot of pride in my culture and uh, in my, in my traditions and, and to be able to play and portray a, a Puerto Rican youth basketball player like myself um, in real life, it's, it's amazing. What about the theme of uh, your character, Nick Mendez's theme of a uh, family? Um, obviously that, that is a big, uh, cultural thing, especially for the series, for the character. I think, um, his family means so, so much to him. Um, we see that in season one and we're going to see it in season two as well. I think, um, with the devastation of Hurricane Maria, he, uh, you know, he has the weight of the world on his shoulders and he just wants to make it for his family and he wants to get back to them. So, um, I think we're going to see, a we're going to see Nick Mendez really truly um locked in and and loaded for you know trying to make it for his family. Tell me about the preparations um for season 2 um you know particularly with uh, playing basketball and with playing with others on this production. It took a lot of hard work. It took it took a lot of you know late nights and early mornings and you know especially with with the whole cast um we have basketball players. We have players that can, you know, hoop and some players that, you know, that are learning the game as well. So um, I think it was just an amazing experience to to really just to really just see everybody's work ethic and what they pour into each day, each night. And, um, you know, we had a, we had a trainer on set and, you know, we practiced and 
and um, we practiced plays, we practiced everything. So um, it just took a lot of hard work, and and it and this season it's really going to show off. So I'm proud of that. So which is easy for you, playing good basketball or playing bad basketball? Playing playing good basketball. Um, I'm I'm so used to playing. I've been playing all my life, so I think everything you know that I practice is is has been good basketball. So I think it's easier. Tell me about your love for basketball. You personally. Yeah, so I've been playing basketball since I was three years old, and you know I've been playing all my life. Um, been developing, been practicing, working hard at it, and you know, over the years I just grown love for it and you know I think with that with that love of the game it was easy to translate to to playing in swagger and and um you know sometimes putting my two cents in putting my you know knowledge of the game um to the, for the for the production and and um yeah it was just it was just a great experience so how did you cross over into acting? So um my uncle's an actor and um we we got a you know an email and a text. Um my mom got an email and a text and she was like, you know, you should try out, you should audition for, you should try new things. Um and uh, at first, you know, I was like, ah, I don't really want any distractions. I'm trying to you know, just make it in basketball. And, and then I realized, well, this is a great opportunity. And this ex experience is going to be once in a lifetime. So um, I wasn't an actor before. And, uh, you know, I just, you know, took the opportunity, took the blessing and, and uh, it all came through. So how do you balance this? Uh, be, um, you know, acting on a major production for Apple TV plus, and trying to pursue your basketball career at the same time? Um, it took a lot of hard work, determination, you know, perseverance. Um, you know, there was a time where people thought I was only an actor, um, where recruiters thought I was only an actor. And, um, you know, I really had to to just overcome that with, you know, playing well during my high school season and um, just working hard. It took a lot of hard work day and night, um, all day, every day. I just, you know, I jumped to playing at the D1 level and the NBA level. And, um, you know, I'm on that path now, so. Excellent. Well, Jason, hey, congratulations for Swagger for Apple TV Plus. And more of a congratulations for your, uh, um, for your acceptance to uh, Van Vanderbilt. This is going to be very exciting for your career in the future. Thank you so much. Thank you.